Hello, Cincinnati, kinda. I don't know where the fuck we are. You put a skyline chili, you think it's just still Cincinnati. Where are we, front row? Why are you looking at him? You know you're in the front row. He, say what? You just follow the GPS here? Oh, so you don't know where we are at all. You said you're from Northern Kentucky? I figured that out when you didn't know you were in the front row. I said, what's up, front row? He put his glasses on like, is that where I am? Am I, am I in the front of the club? This is crazy. Okay, Northern Kentucky. That's what's up. Who's that, your sister? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Isn't that a joke? Isn't that a joke? I thought you fucking their relatives and shit. I'm just teasing. He ain't say no. All right. <laughs> she said, it's step. That's right. <laughs> Cruel intentions. I like it. She's still rubbing his back. Good for you. Give up the booty, just like Buffy. <laughs> okay, this is wild. Okay, what's up, guys? Right there with the beards? Badass motherfuckers. I see that shit. Y'all either some badass dudes or some gay ass dudes. I don't know what it is. It's either badass or like a gay rock band. ZZ Bottom. <laughs> they gonna rape the shit out of me after the show. I'm staying here all night. That's why I had that Skyline Chili. Go for it, motherfucker. Go for it. You gonna deal with all this Skyline Chili. Goes in and comes out the same damn way. What's up, adorable couple? Y'all are so adorable, beautiful, mixed race couples in the front. You're mixed race, aren't you? Yeah, I knew it. That's what's up. You can sit with your mom and dad, bro. Why you gotta, you ain't gotta be cool all the time, you know what I mean? And that's your girl right there. It's just getting whiter. Wait, are you Mexican or some shit? What's, why your eyes like that? You're 100% white? Not native or nothing? Nothing? Shit, girl, you trying to get into college? <laughs> Yo. You need to Elizabeth Warren that shit, girl. No one would deny you. Look at, you got like a ethnic look in your eyes a little bit. You've never heard that? You go into the Chinese restaurant, there's a little bit of recognition, right? They're like, help her first, help her first. She is, she is almost us. She is almost us. You got like a cat eye, like an exotic. It's good, it's a good thing. You acting like I'm the first person ever told you this. Not at all, you've heard it before. You never looked into your lineage at all? Not at all, so I could be right. I'm probably right, yo. Was that out loud? We're gonna take that down. Nothing. I'm sorry. She was in the front row and just said, water? Did anybody get water? We not at Applebee's anymore, Sarah. She said that shit out loud, yo. What, is she Native American? Did I fuck with you? My bad. Now, are you guys from Liberty Township? You're not? Is anybody here from Liberty Township? One, two, three, four. Five, five of y'all. <laughs> y'all just moved out here. <laughs> right, because they put them all. You're like, shit's gonna happen. <laughs> and 10 years later, you're like, fuck what we thinking, man. <laughs> fuck, man. What, why did you move out here, miss? Uh, it's closer to work? To work? Yeah. Where do you work? <laughs> Brad, you know how angry I just got right now? <laughs> They're lucky that we're not on the wireless mic that we had before, because I would have tossed that shit at you like a spear. It would have looked like the movie 300 in this motherfucker. Just, boom. 
She just said, I moved closer to work. And I go, where do you work? She goes, at home. <laughs> Is that your husband next to you, miss? God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. Hey, God bless you for putting up with this shit, man. This woman moved you all the way out to fucking Canada, whatever the hell we are, to get closer to her work. And then she, or her work is an internet connection. That's what her work is. She could be on her work right now. How long you guys been married? 18 years. How long you been abusive? I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about you, miss. You the one doing the abusing in this relationship. Let's go out to dinner. Where? In the kitchen. I made dinner. What? What? What's going on? Why you keep tricking me all the time? You're like the Liberty Township Borat. Just... Hey guys, we're in Cincinnati and while we're here we had to pay our respects to a, a fallen hero. Uh, another victim of senseless gun violence something that we all regret, something that we wish never happened. But while we're here, we have to pay respects. One more time, never forget, R.I.P. Harambe. R.I.P. man. Gotta give a little bit to my guy. Yes. We're gonna peel one out for you, dog. We're gonna peel one out for you, man. As delicious as that banana was, I'm not a gorilla. I need some real food. We're in Cincinnati. It's time to fuck up some chili, all right? Hi, everybody. Hi, okay, we're at Skyline Chili with Natalie. <laughs> Natalie, what are you known for here? Obviously the chili, but... Our chili's not really like thick, it's like a kind of a sauce. So it's kind of like a spaghetti sauce. So that's what people think is weird. The menu, and then if you have more questions, I'll come back and I'll right, thank you so much. whatever you'd like. That's great, thank you. Cincinnati, y'all need a Chipotle. Huh? <laughs> What'd you think? Very like, soupy. So are we. Yo, Drew, when are we doing that Dollar Shave Club sponsorship ad thing? Mark, I told you we don't do any promos on this show. Yeah, we don't do, we don't believe in my promos. We don't do any of that kind of stuff. This is an organic show. What's up now? You got my Dollar Shave Club shampoo? Yeah. Here's the shampoo. Dollar Shave Club. Did you know they do shampoos now? Isn't that crazy? It was just lasers before, and now they're doing nuts. shampoos. It's nuts, man. They got good stuff. It's really good stuff. Anyway, so we don't do this kind of promos. This is an organic show. It's something we created. It's us out there on the road. And I think that you sometimes know? you can lose a little bit. What? My Dollar Shave Club. Face cleanse. Oh, yeah. Let me get that. There you go. This is good. Oh, what is it? Dude, citrus Hawaiian ginger. Uh, Great smell afterwards. You should try the body wash too when you're doing the face. That's you go the dose. Yeah, amazing. They sell these kits, by the way. Word? Yeah, the kits are five bucks. That's it? Yeah, you can get them at dollarshaveclub.com slash Schultz. Oh, shit. Yeah, S-C-H-U-L-Z. No T. Again, coincidence. But yeah, we wouldn't, we wouldn't add any extra ads. Yeah, you know? let me get my uh, Dollar Shave Club razor. I need to shave my pubes. Okay, things. I got you. Go on, you can raise it. There you go. Yeah. Now, I used that yesterday, but those, those blades, Amazing blades, amazing blades. That's shave. gonna treat you right. You shave. We All both shave. We share together. Absolutely. Close right, that. Hundred percent. So, I like Slave Love Lord. Listen, great company. Amazing company. Okay. Obviously, incredible products. We're just not taking on sponsorship. We're not interested. You okay. Yep. Yeah. You see my Dollar Shave Club toothbrush? <sighs> yep. Yeah. You can use that one, bro. 
No, it's a good toothbrush. Bro. You can share these toothbrushes. Bro. It's Dollar Shave Club, man. They do it all. DollarShaveClub.com slash Schultz, S-C-H-U-L-Z. That's all I'm saying. So we got sponsorship now, baby. You see that? We're building something. We're fucking building it. Seems like uh, every other week we're in Ohio and we're doing another dropping in and the goal is to make Ohio interesting. And guess what? Guess what? Yeah, we figured it out. Right now we're going indoor skydiving. That's why I'm dressed like a gay parachute. Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? Hi. Peace. Hey, okay. Welcome, you. welcome. Thank you. They love cameras. They love it, they love it. Going to get the guys indoor skydiving. All right, now I've gone regular skydiving, okay? So if I manage to die indoor skydiving, that would be the saddest thing that's ever happened. Maybe the blade that's blowing me up comes and, you know, slices my abdomen open, my guts just fall out. That being said, let's hope it doesn't happen. Huh? Huh? Hey guys, miss me? Huh? You know, imagine today's <laughs> Look at this red, son. Your style's off. You dress like security. You look like a skinny bouncer. Bro. Dude, real talk. <laughs> oh no. What is your name, sir? Richard. Richard, man. It's rare that we have white Uber drivers, man. This is exciting. You look like a bush. <laughs> have you ever gotten that? You could definitely be Bush family. Or one of those Rothschilds, yeah. You got a distinguished look, bro. Yeah. Thanks, man. How long have you guys been in town? We just got in. Just got in? What do you yeah. plan to do here? We're going to this skydiving thing. Okay. Indoor skydiving. That sounds fun. Yeah. What else do you have on your itinerary? No, just go indoor skydiving. That's, That's all you're going to do? Huh? That's all you're going to do? That's all we're going to do. Yeah, we came out here to go indoor skydiving. Is there anything else to do out here? <laughs> all the way from New York? Do the skydiving. Indoor. Yeah, that's it right there, guys. All right, we're here at iFly. We're about to go fly indoor skydiving. What a great guy I am. This guy's ankle's broken the last city, so what do I do? I take him flying. So you don't gotta put nothing on that ankle. Nah, B, that's that's scary down there, dog. Oh no, there's a net. All right, bet. What we need to do a waiver for? What do you mean? Was indoor. I thought it takes away all the danger. Well, I mean. All the <laughs> well, most of it, most of the danger for skydiving is, is, is this outside. Yeah, it's the land, it's the ground. Wow, what were you afraid of? Here? Yeah. Uh, crashing into the glass. Two with feet? <laughs> two feet at two miles per hour? Watch some hockey. So these guys are dropping into I Fly Cincinnati. There we go. Let's see how, let's see how they do. We interrupt our program to bring you Hey sweet Let me introduce you to my friend Her name's Fashion 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 She's always my plus one Fashion Fashion and what? And what? Her name's Fashion. Fashion. And what? And what? Fashion is just not too time to get. Like today is the end theme, you should see her. Her name's Fashion. Fashion. And what? And what? And what do we do with Fashion? Crazy ass Cincinnati, man. Y'all are fucking crazy, dude. Y'all are fucking crazy, man. Who am me? I'm Andrew Schultz. I'm the person you came to see tonight. There's one thing you should know, it's who the fuck I am. You invested money in this. But I like how you were just doing Russian roulette with your comedy shows, that's brave. Are you from Cincinnati, miss? Whoever said that? She left? How could she leave that fast? I was in the middle of talking to her and she ran the fuck away. I was looking in that direction. I didn't see anything go. Did she really leave? Yeah. 
Dude, that was impressive. <laughs> Fucking twat. No. She really said, who are you? And then just <laughs> ran the fuck out of here. She wasn't even out of breath when she said it, dude. It was a calm, like, who are you? And then, whoa, I need to meet this bitch. This is impressive. Crazy ass Cincinnati, man. It's a wild place, dude. A lot of fucked up shit has happened here. So we gotta be careful. We gotta be careful. We gotta acknowledge, you know, there's been a lot of senseless gun violence, you know, immigrants coming here just trying to make a living, entertain, and they just get, you know, gunned down for no fucking reason. And, you know, R.I.P. Harambe. I just feel like... <laughs> <laughs> he traveled here for the American dream, you know what I mean? Make it in entertainment and then just gets murdered for no fucking reason, you know? I want to meet that kid. Is he still around? Can we meet the kid? Honestly, fuck Harambe. Let's talk about that for a second because let's be honest, right? I've been thinking about the. We went to the zoo today. We paid our respects. We put a bushel of bananas out in front of the statue. We did. You know, we peeled one out for him. <laughs> you gotta peel one out for the homies, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Break off the top, drop it there. But let's be honest, right? You ever see any of those like videos of like the people babysitting, you know, someone else's kid and they're fucking dragging them all around, <laughs> beating the shit out of them? Like you look at that video, like if I see this guy, I'm gonna fucking shoot it. That's Harambe. All I'm saying is Harambe is a piece of shit babysitter, okay? Learn how to deal with kids. You're an abusive motherfucker, Harambe, so you get shot for it. That's how it works. I'm sorry. And he's a fucking racist, Harambe. He's a racist, dude. The poor black kid fell into the pool of water and the gorillas look at the black kid like, they can't swim, I gotta get him out of here. You know? It's fucking racist. So we got rid of one. We got rid of an evil racist, you know what I mean? I get it, he's from the south of Africa, but it's still, it's like, he should know better. He should know fucking better, dude.